So a few people have been asking about the haul I bought from Neil. Um, these boxes here are just the boxes with the gaming stuff in. Um, now, I've had a quick look in the boxes, as in open the top of the box, just to see it is gaming stuff. And then I wrote gaming on the side of the box and put them in the loft. Um, but today's the day I'm gonna tackle these. So I'm gonna come back to you. I'm gonna show you what we got. Um, I might even strap you on with the GoPro to show you the whole haul. Um, and yeah, then I've got to obviously test everything and see what's working, see what's not, and then start doing some comps. So we'll come back to you shortly. Okay, got you on the chest strap on the GoPro. So let's have a look and see what we've got in this haul. So, I said all of this is untested, um, a lot of it will need cleaning, etc. But first of all, we start off with a original Xbox. Um, I'm guessing I'll need to find lots of leads for these consoles as well to test them. But yeah, not a bad start on the original Xbox. Okay, in this box here, let me just aim that down a bit more here. There we go. Um, we have a box of controllers, um, some microphones, some buzz controllers there, some PlayStation controllers. I don't think that one's gonna work. Um, some eye cans, yeah, the eye toy stuff, uh, another PlayStation controller. So yeah, a real mixture of leads and controllers. Okay, so we have a crystal Xbox, um, the original one, with a controller as well, an official controller. Really grubby, really dirty, we'll need a good clean up and yeah, it's not in the best shape, but that might be good just to test the consoles as well. So I'm gonna need quite a bit of stuff to test as we go through as well. So, pop that one down there as well. Next we have, it's a PlayStation, on there not working may need cleaning it looks like is that the hard drive missing out of there anyway so that'll probably be spares and repairs um we've got some xbox controllers a couple of them again not in the best shape we'll need some cleaning a connect there and another xbox here which is an xbox 360 missing that part which i believe is the hard drive part top of my head so i might have one of them in a box but anyway a whole mixture of stuff again probably some spares and repairs bits in there as well i'm just going to try and stack these up the best i can in the messy shed next we have another xbox with xbox disc tray stuck so again that might be an easy fix i might watch some of the videos um that Lee's done, fix it for reselling, see if he's done anything on this, or just do some YouTube, see if I can get that working. It's got the 120 hard drive anyway, and it's got some leads and a power cable as well in there. We have another original Xbox with, that looks like the Crystal controller, which is quite good for that Crystal, uh, crystal console I've got. So yeah, another Xbox there. I said it's all a mystery to me guys. I don't know what's in hardly any of these boxes. Um, we've got an Xbox 360 and it says working, but obviously this will all be tested. It's got the power block and the um, cable as well. So that'll be good if it's working. We have some Wii stuff. So we've got three Wii's in there. Um, the power brick, how many power bricks do we have in this box? Just the one by the looks of it. Um, a couple of nunchucks, we've got a couple of Wii remotes. Need a good bit of cleaning and testing on them as well. Um, what's that, Skyland? Yeah, Skylanders, I don't think that's worth much money. But again, three Wii consoles. Um, good time to get things like this listed with Christmas on its way. Um, I might have to find some games to bundle with them or try and find some games cheap online to bundle. We have a PlayStation 3 here. Um, some of these normally go quite well. Um, looks in okay shape. 
But again, we'll need testing. Um, it's got a HDMI cable and I believe it's just a two pin, yeah, two pin power cable. So that's easy for me to find. So yeah, that's working, not bad, a PS3. I actually picked up a PS3 for free on Facebook Marketplace the other day as well, which is good. So I've got a couple of them now. Okay, so this looks like a random box of Xbox leads and stuff. Um, so we've got a couple of power bricks for the Xbox, always handy to have. Um, we've got another Kinect sensor. Um, yeah, that's like a non-official power brick by looks at this one here. No, it's a Microsoft one, so maybe that's for something else. Um, but yeah, just some leads and stuff. And these are gonna be really important because of all them consoles, if I need leads, hopefully there's gonna be a few more boxes of just leads as well. We've got an Xbox 360. It's saying E68 system error. So that's probably gonna be a spares and repairs, but I can sell the power brick separately. And what is that? Xbox 360 uh, PC wireless gaming receiver. Don't know if that's worth any money, but nice to have in there as well. Okay, so we've got some Xbox controllers. So um, unofficial, unofficial. These are power, this one's a power A, and this one is a PDP by the looks of it. Um, What's that one there? Another PDB controller. So some unofficial controllers. Uh, an official one. Another Skylander stock. Uh, another Wii controller. Um, Wii Fit game. HDMI cable. Okay, a Sony controller, which is in really bad shape. Needs the um, grips on here, but Again, that might be worth some money if it works. People, I'm sure, will replace the grips anyway. Um, some other Xbox leads and stuff as well. So yeah, a real mixture in that box. Oh, let me change this around because I don't think you're going to be able to see if I put that one there. So. Okay, so we've got a box of what looks like games and stuff. So uh, EA Sports Active 2. We have some DS games. Don't think there's gonna be anything crazy special, no. Uh, we have some Wii games, Wii Music, Wii Fit, and another Wii Fit, and a couple of DVDs, and a Sex in the City box set as well. So a lot of that stuff there will be bundled with the consoles really, just to make them a bit more valuable when it comes to selling. Okay, this one feels a bit heavy. And this looks like, again, a box of odds and sods. So we have another Xbox controller needs the back, um, some leads, um, what have we got here? A couple of Xbox games, Wii Fit again, nothing too exciting. Some loose discs, uh, Wii Sports, normally okay. Wii Fit Plus, Guitar Hero, um, Mario Sonic Olympics, Wii Fit Plus again, Minecraft, and Wii Resort. So I'm sure I can do some bundles with them. They're loose discs, so, so I need to make sure they're still working. More cables, cables, cables. Um, Air Force One, Skyrim and another xbox 360 at the bottom there so that's in that bundle then we have three of these we fit boards um that one does not look like it's going to work so that'll probably be straight in the bin this one here we'll have to check the battery compartment on there and we have a third one here battery compartments there but again we'll have to check on that as well um, to see whether they'll actually work and the best thing in the bundle and something that i have already looked at is an xbox one with the white controller the xbox one 
and all the power cables and stuff as well so i've tested that already um that is fully working that is actually listed now on ebay so that's going to be anywhere between probably 70 to 90 pounds roughly um so that's quite good having the bundle so my plan now is to go away and test all of these items um, then i'll show you what works what didn't work and what i plan to list on ebay so the first set of items have been tested from the gaming bundle um, this is part of the bundle i got from neil as i mentioned so we'll run through a few bits first of all so this playstation 3 wouldn't power on so i'm listing it on ebay um, probably between 35 and 40 pounds as not working um, these two Xbox controllers, again, are going to be listed for spares and repairs. The um, silver one, or the clear one, sorry, did work a little bit, but it's very temperamental. So, yeah, I'm just going to list them as spares and repairs um, parts only. Um, I'm probably going to put them up between £10 and £15 for the pair. Um, the Xbox 360, um, fully working. It's going to come with a controller and a Call of Duty game. That's going to be around the £30 to £35 mark, I think, on that. And the Xbox One, fully tested and working. Neil did say this when he chucked it in because it was his own personal console. Um, I've tested that, it's all good. It's in really good condition. The fan's really quiet on that. So I'm gonna go for 80 to 100 pounds. And what I'll do is I'll pop back on what else I've gone through so far. Okay, so the next lot's been tested and sorted. So this Xbox original um, was fully tested and I did have this lead lying around, which is the official TV lead anyway. So I'm gonna list that one anywhere between 35 to 40 is my guess. The other two Xbox originals I had, I plugged in one and it made a popping noise and white smoke started coming out the front of it. So I've chucked that one away and the other one looked quite rusted. So I didn't even wanna plug it in. So again, I've chucked that one away. So we're just left with that one there. Um, so yeah, 35 to 40. Um, I've got a whole bag of controllers, which are the official Xbox 360 ones, but none of them have the back in case. Um, so I'm going to do the whole bag of them and also these unofficial ones, all untested, sold as spares, repairs. Probably list up £20 for the whole bundle or so. Um, so someone might get an absolute bargain there, but it's all going to be untested. Um, these three Wii consoles all had issues, all were uh, powering on, but had different issues. So I'm going to sell this as a bundle with some um, Wii TV cables that will work and some um, controllers that um, don't work as well, some of these Wii controllers. So that's going to be another untested bundle, probably 15 to 20 pounds on that just to get it cleared. Um, then I broke down the Wii, so we got um, a Wii power supply and the TV lead, probably £10 on that there. A couple of nunchucks, probably again £10. Um, six of these Wii silicon holders for the controllers, probably a fiver on them. Um, two sets of the door panels, um, so all the stuff I've took off the Wii here, so the panels at the front and the top as well. So two sets of them, probably five to £8 a set. Um, four Wii controllers that do work without the backs. So I don't know, maybe 15 to 20 at a push, more like 15 I would say is a guess. Um, and yeah, I'll move on to what else we've got. To... So the next box I've sorted through is a mixture of Xbox items. So I've got a couple of these hard drives here. Um, so two of them um, and all these prices I'm gonna say are actually gonna be guesses, but I'll chuck up some comps once I do it. But I'm guessing for them hard drives, maybe, I don't know, £10 each, possibly, but I'll chuck up some comps, as you can see. Um, we've got a couple of Connect sensors here. So, again, I'll say 10 to 15 each on them, is my guess. And some power bricks for different Xboxes. So, I think that's for the Xbox Elite, I believe. So, a power brick and some TV cables. So, I've got one of them and a couple of the Xbox 360 original ones as well. So, I don't know, let's say five to ten each on them. And I have this um, Xbox power lead for a Connect, which is something different. So, maybe five pounds on there. So, yeah, we said if we just play conservative, we say um, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, say thirty, forty. I'd probably say 50, 60, as a guess. But anyway, I'll put up some comps as you can see, so um, you'll see what I'm gonna be listing out on them. And again, another box I've gone through, I've tested, but I haven't comped yet, um, a real mixture. So a Sony DualStock 
uh, Dual Shock 2 controller. Um, I don't know, 10 pounds maybe on that. Um, I believe this is an original one as well, needs cleaning up, um, but it all works. So again, we'll say another five on that. So 15 for two controllers is a guess. Um, but again, I'll put up some comps. A couple of unofficial um, PlayStation ones, I'd probably bundle them for 10 pounds for the pair. Um, we've got in here a um, Sony, I think these are PSP power supplies. Um, so we'll say £10 on there, and I've got a second one here. So they might either be PlayStation 1 or PSP, I need to do some research. But we'll say £10 each on them as well. Um, we've got a couple of Logitech uh, microphones. So again, maybe 5 to £10 a pair. I don't think they go for much money then. Um, and we have a whole bag of PlayStation iToy cameras and PlayStation cameras, etc. So... Um, yeah, a fiver each maybe, uh, might be pushing that, maybe four pound each. But anyway, if we said, um, conservatively, if we said, say 15 pound for that bag there, we also have a buzz set, and these normally go quite well at Christmas. So again, without looking at comps, we'll say 10. So 15, uh, 25, we'll say, we'll say 30 uh, with the mics. Uh, I think these go for quite a bit of money. So we'll say 40. Another one there, 50. Two controllers, we'll say 60. And then these two controllers, let's be conservative, five or each, we'll say 70 pounds. So yeah, that box there, 70 pound, but I haven't actually physically gone through the comps. But as I said, once again, I'll put them up on screen so you can get an idea. We'll move on to what's left. Okay, next up's another Xbox 360 console. It's the white version here. It needs a bit of a clean. It's got a sticker here, so I'm going to give that a clean up before listing. Anyway, fully working. Um, I'm going to chuck in this Mad Cats controller uh, with the console itself. Um, and that I should be looking at 30 pounds, maybe. I'm not sure what they white ones go for these days, but it'll be say 25 to 30. And we have this EA Active for Xbox. Um, they don't go for a lot of money, maybe five pounds. I might even chuck this in with one of the Kinect sensors um, that I showed you earlier. But if we said 30 pounds on the console, five pounds for that. So another 35 pounds, um, which is part of the bundle. So a couple more bits to talk about. Um, these consoles here, the Xbox 360, the PlayStation 2, there's a couple more Xbox 360s under there. All have issues, all not working. So. I'm thinking about doing a parts, um, spares and repairs bundle on them lot, maybe for £20 plus post, or even £15 plus post just to get rid of them. I'm sure someone likes to take parts and likes to fix things. So yeah, I'll probably do them quite cheap because I don't want them sitting around the shed. That's for sure. Um, the Wii Fit boards, um, as expected, we have two that do work and one that doesn't due to battery corrosion. Um, I don't know how much Wii Fit boards go for at the moment, but I do have some copies of Wii Fit. As you can see, I've got four copies there of Wii Fit as well. So I'll bundle them up with Wii Fit. I don't know, £10 plus post maybe? I know at one point they were going for a lot more, but I don't think they do anymore. So yeah, let's just say £10. So we say 10 20 that one there doesn't work. Um, so £20 um, for the two things there. Um, we'll say £15 for that, so 35 um, We have Wii Music, I don't think it goes for a lot. We also have some Wii games, as I mentioned. I think I could probably bundle Wii Sports Resort and Wii Sports together for a bundle. Um, I don't know about the other games as well. I've got a couple of Wii Fit Pluses there, which I might be able to bundle up as well with the Wiis. Um, but yeah, nothing crazy. Minecraft might be sort of £5. Sonic may be the same. Not sure about the Guitar Hero and not sure about that one as well. So if we said all in all the games are £10 to play it safe, um, I should be fine with that. Um, a couple of DSs, both working. I think these are the ones, DS lights. Um, so maybe 15 to 20 pound each potentially i haven't got any games to bundle with them all the ds games were actually empty boxes so um yeah there's no ds games um a playstation 2 a controller sorry not playstation 2 playstation 4 controller it's seen better days it does work um but it's in awful condition these new grips there etc so probably 15 pound on that one if i'm lucky 
and also a DS um, case, which I'll probably include one of the DSs and make a bundle that way. So all in all, maybe, I don't know, conservatively 60 pounds maybe on that bundle as well. So yeah, all in all, quite happy of all the stuff I've got from Neil from the gaming point of view. As I say, there was so much more than just this gaming. There's been hundreds of cameras that I've gone through and there's so much more stuff I need to do. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the gaming hall. Um, let me know what you think um, of it. There's a real mixture of untested, which you're expecting and stuff that does work. All in all, my cost of goods, it's really hard to break down, but on average, I'd probably say this gaming lot alone has only really cost me about 60 pounds as a cost of goods. Um, because actually most of my cost of goods went on the cameras to be honest with you and the other bits I've got so yeah let me know in the comments what you think of the bundle um, like always if there's anything you do want for yourself um, drop me a message on Instagram at bold finds I'm more than happy to work out a, um, a deal for anyone who's subscribed to the channel as well to make sure you get a good deal on it as well so uh, yeah thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed the haul um, and I'll see you in the next video thank you